रजिस्ट नाउ Hey guys, hi! Welcome to all of you to the session. This is your master teacher Harsh Priya, and I'm live and very fresh in front of all of you in this today's session. So our today's session is a very outstanding one, a kind of different one, and that different one I'm saying because it has got some tips and tricks to actually solve these type of problems in a pretty fast manner, and you'll simply love it. I I'm gonna guarantee it. ओके okay, चलो तो शुरू करते हैं लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टुडे सेशन एंड इन टुडे सेशन आई विल बी टेलिंग यू हाउ टू सॉल्व दो कन्वेंशनल प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच यू हैव बीन गेटिंग इन योर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन इन योर बुक्स इन योर बोर्ड्स करिकुलम हाउ टू सॉल्व दो टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इन अ प्रिटी फास्ट मैनर वेन आई से प्रिटी फास्ट मैनर एक्चुअली देर आर मेथड विच कैन गिव यू द आंसर जस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट इट यू डोंट इवन नीड टू take a pen or or even if you are taking a pen you just need to write like two digits three digits that's it you get the entire answer believe me i am i'm pretty sure you might be thinking or you may might be amazed oh wow really is is this going to happen let me tell you yes it is going to happen let's see how so here we go people first thing this is a theory i'm damn sure you won't understand it so let's not understand it let me just directly jump to a example and then make you understand so first example so you would have seen this question multiple times that how many three digit numbers are divisible by 7 how many four digit numbers are divisible by 4 like that these type of question this is so common and so often questions now whenever you get these type of questions what do you have to do if there is a three digit number which is being talked about here you have to just take the smallest three digit number possible and the largest three digit number possible so what is the smallest three digit number undoubtedly it's a 100 and what is the largest three digit number undoubtedly it's a triple nine then what do you have to do you have to divide these two smallest and largest three digit number by 7 because here the question is saying divisible by 7 so let's divide it now once you divide this 100 by 7 obviously it's not completely divisible but it would be divisible something something so let me just do that so if i am not wrong this is 14 sevens are 98 and 2 is the remainder got it now this quotient you need so you have when you dividing 100 by 7 the quotient which you got is 14 is 14 cool cool now similarly you have to divide triple nine by 7 so again do that triple nine and that divided by 7 i'm pretty sure this is going to come as 1 and then 7 2 29 4 28 and 1 9 2 so 142 something something remainder will be remaining but does not matter so 142 is the quotient here so i will be taking that 142 as the quotient and now the final answer is 142 minus 14 that's it plain and simple earlier what we used to do i still remember i have taught you so many times that conventional method that we have to write these numbers then find the multiple of 7 and then that would be 98 and then 105 and then 112 and then dot 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 and before this if i am not wrong so you will write the last number to be 994 and so on blah 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 things you don't need to do that you you simply don't need to do that you can just write 100 divided by this so 14 uh, triple 9 divided by 7 so 142 142 minus 14 that's the answer 128 isn't it eureka by the way many of the uh, many of you might be even thinking that sir with, uh, is it applicable in board examinations or not so unfortunately the answer is no you can't apply this method obviously this method which i have taught you multiple times this method you can apply but unfortunately you can't do that but still then why did i teach you i teach you because these type of questions might even appear in your mcqs or one word answers like one marker there you can apply this there you can simply write the answer that you have got 128 numbers which are divisible by 7 between uh, all the three digit numbers so they are 128 there you can do that okay chalo let let me just show you a few more examples say for example you don't get a three digit number but it is written how many multiples of four lie between 10 to 250 like they have given the specific numbers okay that is also fine let's divide 10 by 4 and let's divide 250 by 4 that's it it's so simple so if you divide 10 by 4 very simply you get 2 as the quotient 
2 as the quotient, remainder will be 2. So 2 is the quotient and then if you divide 250 by 4, so 250 by 2, 4, you will get 62 as the quotient. 62 minus 2, 60 is the answer. Even if you would have got a number like 12 and 250, then also the number, the answer would have been same. Like 12, so 4, 3 is the 12. You write 3 here, 62 minus 3, 59 is the answer. So every time it's going to be the same. Every time you have to apply the same methodology. If the numbers are given, divide them. Whatever is the quotient, find that. Subtract those two coefficients, uh, those two quotients. Or if it is given three digit number, four digit number like that, find the smallest one and the largest one. Divide both of them and get the answer. Okay, so that's an easy one. Huh? I'm, I'm damn sure that's an easy one. Chalo. So I hope you liked it. If you are liking it, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Yeah, yo. Okay, let me show you one more, uh, a few more tricks. Not one more, like few more. So here we go, people. I hope you are enjoying it. Are you? Uh, if you are, then just hit the like button. Chalo. So this is the second trick. Now in the second trick, again, some theory theory is written. Let's not get into that. Let's directly jump to the example. Now, this theory says that, say for example, these type of questions, again, you would have seen very commonly. Like SN is given and you have to find fifth term of the AP. Uh, sum of n terms of an AP is given by blah, 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 blah. You have to find the seventh term. You have to find the ninth term, 50th term, whatever. In these type of cases, there are two methods. First method, either you put the value n equals to 1, then n equals to 2, then n equals to 3. You get the first, second, third term of an AP. Then you get the first term. Then you get the common difference. Then you find the fifth term. Like that? Easier version. Please. Whatever whatever number means the term number you have to find. So say for example, you have to find fifth term of an AP. So you'll write A5. So fifth term. So just write, just put here 5. S5. Try to find out S5. So if you'll put 5 in place of N, 5, 3 is a 15 and minus 5 square. 15 minus 25 minus 10. So this is S5. And then find a value lesser than that. Matlab, if 5 is here, find 4. Put 4 here. In, in this S. So in S, you put 4. 4, 3 is a 12. And 4 square. 12 minus 16 minus 4. So you have got S4 as well. So finally, what do you have to do? You have to find S5 and then you have to find S4. So S5 and S4 minus 10 and minus 4, you have to subtract them. What do you have to do? You have to subtract them. Just subtract S5 minus S4, you'll get the answer. That's it. It's plain and simple. Again, again, I'm saying what I said. SN is given, you have to find A5. So 5 is that number. So you will find S5 and 1 lesser than that S4. S5 and S4, just subtract them, you'll get the answer. That's it. Plain and simple. S5 found minus 10, S4 found minus 4. Subtract them. Minus 10, minus of minus 4, plus 4. Hence, minus 6 is the answer. Got it? <laughs> I know you got it. Fine, let me let me show you a few more examples. So say for example, one more example is given. Like SN is given, you have to find A9. So A9 you have to find, then find S9. Then a lesser version of that, the lesser number, 9 say lesser is 8. Find S8. S9, S8, just subtract them, you get the answer. A9 is 88. That's it. Super simple, huh? super easy. You don't have to do this, that much random blah, blah, blah kind of things. Not required in fact. Isn't it? I hope you are liking it and I hope you are understanding it. That's the most important thing. Okay. And if you are understanding it, if you are simply liking it, just share this video with your friends also. Let them also know that this is something very awesome. Okay. So just share this video with your friends and hit the like button. Moving on. We, we still have, we still have more thing. Uh, okay. So it's not over yet. Not over yet. So those people who are liking it and who want to continue their live session with me, who want to arrange their live session with me, and many other master teachers at Vedantu. So you can actually go in the link given in the description box. That is vdnt.in slash ytpro. And you can uh, subscribe to Vedantu Pro subscription. And you would be able to get into the live sessions. All the live courses, revision courses, crash courses, they all are live right now. So that's a good time to get into them. Okay, Chalo, moving on. Here we go for the next trick. Now what is this next trick is saying? It's a very simple one. So the next trick says that say for example, you have to find the sum of first 50 multiple of three or these type of numbers, three, six, nine, it is the multiple of three. Or say for example, if the question says, find the sum of first 20 multiple of four. In this situation, we generally tend to write the formula Sn equals to n by two into two a plus n minus one into d. Yeah, and then we solve it. It is, it is unnecessary. Let me tell you how. So say for example, let me just solve this one first. 
थ्री सिक्स नाइन डॉट 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 टेल वन फिफ्टी सो ऑल ऑफ देम आर मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री इफ आई टेक आउट थ्री कॉमन इन ऑल ऑफ देम वॉट आई वुड बी गेटिंग आई वुड बी गेटिंग वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस डॉट 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 फिफ्टी इफ आई टेक आउट थ्री फ्रॉम हेयर दिस इज फिफ्टी फिफ्टी इंटू थ्री इज वन फिफ्टी means if i take out three common i have got 1 to 50 summation addition of 1 to 50 numbers and i hope you all might be knowing the sum of n terms of any b 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus sum of first n natural numbers do you know that in case if you do not know please remember that this formula for this is n into n plus 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 by 2 so here if you have got 50 numbers the formula would be 50 into 51 plus, divided by 2 15 to 51 by 2 That's it. Fifteen to fifty-one by two, and then you have a multiplication of three. So just three multiplied by fifteen to fifty-one by two. That's it. You don't have to do anything. Like nothing, man. Nothing. Just see. So easily you have to just multiply it. Obviously that is important. Okay. Let me just show you one more example. Say for example, if the question writes, find the sum of first first twenty multiples of four. First twenty multiples of four. That is four plus eight plus dot dot dot. 20 multiples like 20 into 4 is 80 okay so i would again do the same thing 4 taken out common so 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 till 20 because 20 multiples are there simple 1 to 20 sum n into n plus 1 by 2 so n is 20 so 20 into 21 by 2 n into n plus 1 by 2 into 4 is already here so 4 what do you have to do you have to multiply them so 20 into 21 <coughs> 420 and again This is 840. Super easy. Yeah, got it. Chalo, if you all got it, that's great. Let me just show you one more example for your reference. Here, it's a multiple of 15. So if you take out 15 common, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot dot dot. Till if I am not wrong, this is 23. Yeah, 23. So 1 till 23. So 20. Sorry, this is 26. Very sorry, this is 26. So 26 into 26 plus 1. Uh, wait a second, three nineteen. I guess they have done something wrong. Let me just see. Uh, so, pandra so do ti saat pachatar twenty five. So, the, sorry, this is twenty five, not twenty six. This is twenty five. Three seventy five. So, this should not be three seventy five. Should be here. This should be twenty five. Twenty five into twenty five plus one. Let me write it down. Let's cancel it. So, if you take out fifteen common, you would be having one plus two plus dot dot dot. Till uh, 25, isn't it? 15 by 75. Yes, absolutely right. That is it. So 1 plus 25. So what will be the addition? 25 into 25 plus 1. That is 26 divided by 2, and then multiplied by this 15. School. Now 15 into 25 into 13 because this will cancel it in 13 times. So you have got 15 into 25 into 13. That would be the answer. Balle balle. Cool, got it. So that's simple. It is. You just have to do this much, and you have all the answer. Okay. So people, I hope you all understood it and you all enjoyed it. If you just enjoyed it, show your love. Uh, put it down in the comment box because so that I should know that whether are you liking these series or not. Previously, I have got uh, I put that. Uh, a uh, quadratic equation series for all of you and this now arithmetic progression so i really want to know that whether are you guys liking it or not okay and hit the like button share it with your friends as well now those people so this is the next uh, trick this next trick says that to find a term tp of an ap given tn equals to m and tm equals to n okay let's not get into the theory uh, let me take an example so say for example question says find the 217th term of an ap whose 10th term is 13 and 13th term is 10 Multiple times we have seen this question. Like, I hope you would have seen multiple times. I have solved it for you guys multiple times. So here, what do you have to do? So tenth term is given thirteen, and thirteenth term is given ten, and you have to find t two seventeen, like two seventeenth term. They have not written in the subscript, so let's leave it. Okay. <clears throat> so what do you have to do in this case? You have to just add tenth term, so ten add thirteenth term, so thirteenth add. And you have to find two seventeen terms, so just subtract two seventeen. That's it. Believe me, it's that's it. That's it. Done. I'm not joking at all. Believe me, I'm not joking at all. You have to do only this much. You have whose tenth term, thirteenth term. You have to find two hundred seventeenth term. So just these two terms added, and you have to find to so minus. That's it. Done. Answer is minus one nine four. Only one clause that. 
10th term is 13th and 13th term is 10th. So they should be interchangeable. If they are not interchangeable, then that's a problem. So don't do that. Uh, don't do that this uh, trick in that part. Okay, that's why I have kept it in the last. So that's, I hope you all got it. Did you? So that's the answer. Even if so 17th term is 35 and 35th term is 17. So if they are crisscrossed, the 10th, 17th term is 35 and then 35th term is 17. If they are crisscrossed, then only this uh, method will be applicable. Otherwise, no. But okay, that is still a trick. So you can surely take it. So 17 plus 35 minus 105th term you have to find. So just minus 105. That's it. We got the answer. Cool. Fine. So that was all people. Uh, I would really love to hear from you how you are feeling about these uh, tips and tricks session. Do you want them more? Are you liking it? And if you are liking it, just show your love. Share it with your friends as well as much as you can. Subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And those who want to join me, those who want to connect with me and take my live sessions and many other master teachers at Vedantu, the link for that is given in the description box. That is vdnt.in slash ytpro. Once you go to that link, you'll find a page like this. Select your grade 10th, then your boards. You'll land at a page like this. Click here, get subscription. Once you click here, you'll land at a page like this. On this page, select your subscription like one month, three months, six months, whatever you want. At that point, <clears throat> whatever is the discounted price here. After that, if you apply a coupon code here, HP Pro, this will allow you a further discount. So this further discount will give you an, some ex, something extra. Okay. So in this discount, you would be able to buy the course in a much more cheaper version. Fine. And let me tell you, Vedantu has started all the crash courses and live courses. All of them are live right now. All the revision courses. So it's the best time to revise for your boards. Okay. So better not be late. Let's start early. So see you there in the sessions. Till then, bye-bye. Take care and good night. Bye-bye.